Also, um, you know what's good as well about these knives is I can. Oh, roadmap. It's a roadmap. It's a roadmap to 30k. Yeah, man. That's so cute. So cute, that's it. Yeah, it's cute. Yo, what's up guys? I'm trying to accept this shit. Yo! Yo! You know what's good about these lives? What's good about them? You know, you, you, can, you can save them. So later you got the video and then you can, I can make some content out of this. So literally yeah. just ask, ask me anything. Me or real. I didn't, I didn't know you could Huh? I didn't know you could save them, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, you can. I think Jeremy Minor does that kind of, kind of stuff. Fair play, fair play. Yeah. It's not gonna be long. I lost my stand, so I have to hold my phone in my hand. It's gone. Yeah, so just ask um, any questions about personal branding, lead gen. Oh, you want me to ask? No, 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 no. The audience. Why didn't you put like a headline up there? Does it look like a give a shit? <laughs> yeah. Do I look like a hair? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, we hit double digits. Ten people. You don't care. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Eight bots. Uh, it's just dropped. Anyways, let's, let's move on from that. It's just dropped. Just bots. <laughs> no, no, stay on. Stay on. See, see if they got questions. Because, you know, here to help out. Yeah, right. you know. Mm. Do you want to make this like a daily thing? Do you want our accountability goes to no, no, me? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> what, is it, what is it with you and daily shit? I can't do. I'm at my break. I'm at my breaking point. I'm at my break. I'm like this close to falling to to self destructing. G, it's it's so bad. Bunch of studs just rocking the IG love. Yes, you know it, bro. Villain, my guy. That's what we like to see. Oh, we miss you, man. Man, the Godfather of appointment setting. The ultimate goat. Hmm. Up there. All right. Well, wait for some questions to come in. As I said, it's not going to be long. I got a call at. I got a call in fifteen minutes. So, what should we talk about, bro? I talk about um, personal branding for a little bit. Oh, yeah, because, oh yeah. actually, actually, not personal brand. Let's talk about appointment setting for a little bit. Because everybody struggles to book calls. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, we can talk about that. Yeah, personal branding, uh, appointment setting, and also, let's, you want to talk about the 30K thing? If we have time. Sure. Sure. Yeah, nice. All right. Personal branding. It's actually not that hard. I think most, I think, I think 80 to 90% of the problem is you guys are just, um, and it's completely normal. I was there before. It's just you're you're too scared to come out of your shit. Just fear of judgment. Can't really express who you actually are. Like it has to be the way my mentor says it. Um, he said something like, "You should be having two a.m. type conversations with your followers, with your audience. Like, don't just share surface level stuff that everyone knows. Just actually get real deep and vulnerable at times. Like, stuff that you'd share with your best friend at two a.m. Sure Give enough, me two seconds. Know. I'm gonna be back just now." Calm. Okay, he's coming back. Yo, what's up? Any questions about personal branding, lead generation, appointment setting? Hit me. 
Okay, when building rapport in the DMs on a cold outreach, is there a metric to how much value you give them up front first? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, is there a metric to how much value? I mean, honestly, I just, the way I personally go about it, and yeah, you, what might work for me might not work for you. Just start a conversation. And it's probably what you don't want to hear, but the value you're giving them is, you know, through your content, they're going to be nurtured through your profile. Um, but apart from that, whether cold or not, I just start a conversation and keep it casual at first, keep it casual, casual. Then, and then if it makes sense, flip it to business. Um, but the real thing is just like, not, not forcing anything, just trying to be casual with it. Uh, so I hope that answers your question. Yeah, I, I say I'd say the value just comes from the content itself, because they're going. I've had so many times when people like hopped on calls or just tell me the fact that they've been following the content for a while and they're like, they like what I, what I share, what I preach, and they just like like the content that I've been sharing for ages. So it just goes to show how how valuable it is. It's more of a long term play though. So if you're willing to put in the put in the work, it's definitely worth it. Yeah, I'm back. Did you answer joyboy.pro's question? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I just said how most of the value is actually going to come from your content. Yeah, I mean, mo most of the time it's... First of all, why are you doing cold outreach? Mm. Um, <laughs> second of all, you sh yeah, you first of all, you shouldn't be doing cold outreach, in my eyes, in my own opinion. Um, both me and Matt don't do cold outreach. We've been able to book 10, 15, 20 calls a week easily, completely organic. <clears throat> um, second of all, um, you don't really need to give value. In the call, you're there to diagnose a problem to see if you can help them. And third thing is just do more reps. The yeah. more you do it, the more time it becomes easier. Mm. What do you think? No, I agree. I agree. Um, yeah, exactly, exactly. I agree. Like we will only do cold if it's like a last ditch resort to hit our numbers. Yeah, definitely. So that's like definitely. Uh, yeah, but it works. Like all these methods work. One thing you need to get in your heads is like every method works. It's just there's no right or wrong. They all work. It's just whether you're willing to nurture that method or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, cold can work. It's worked for other people. I, did, I used to do cold. And, uh, yeah, I used to do cold as well. Like, don't get me wrong. It works, but you need to do a high level of volume. So you, instead of sending 30 messages a day, you know you need to send 100 messages a day in order to even get 20 responses or even 10 responses because it's completely cold. Um, and that depends on a lot of things, a lot of different uh, metrics and a lot of things that are not in, even in your control, right? But it works to a certain point. Yeah, he asked another question is how are you transition that casual talk to business talk and getting to booking a call? I think me and you made the I mean to keep it simple is watch our appointment video. setting. Sorry? Said watch our appointment setting video training. Yeah, literally. Mm -hmm. To keep it simple, just go on either one of our channels and watch our appointment setting training and we literally go through from the A to Z on how we how I used to appointment set and how my appointment set at the moment. Mm, yeah. But if you want an answer, um casual talk to business talk and getting to booking a call. Oh okay. Um a lot of it's intuition, I can't lie. It's gonna be yeah it, a lot of it's intuition. So for example, there'll be like you might start off talking just about non-business stuff. Oh, okay, what's your, what have you been up to recently? Oh, I, I was in a, been prepping for a bodybuilding competition. Let's say you're talking about fitness. Okay, I've been prepping for a 
bodybuilding competition. Uh, okay, cool. Then just talk about that. Like, be a genuine person about it. Talk about that stuff. They love people love talking about themselves. And then sooner or later in the conversation, provided you keep asking the right questions, open ended one, open ended ones. Ideally, you're like, you might get to a point where you can strike up something about business. So, for example, you could ask something about. Or it might get to a point where you start talking about if they have a coaching program or a training program. And then there you go. That's your into the business. Now, example for fitness. You're just going to have to put in the reps and see how you, how you can. Have it. So. It's usually just how it flows, man. You just got to let the conversation flow and let it just come up and allow it to come up. Um, just don't be rigid. Like no one likes a rigid person in a conversation. You wouldn't be rigid when you're talking to your friend. What your mom in in WhatsApp? So why are you being rigid to a prospect just because he's a prospect? Um, exactly. Just keep it simple, man. Yeah, exactly. One thing I like to ask people if they're having trouble is, uh, or they say, they say, I ask them, okay, would you say something like this to your mom, or would you say something like this to your friend? And nine times out of ten, it'd be like, no, like you wouldn't put this this many emotions, or you wouldn't type. Way. Just act like you're talking to a friend. Mm, it's not exactly. real. It's calm. Move on. Seven billion people in the world. First, why do you feel the need to double text? Oh, what do you mean by double text? Because there's a lot of different context. The context, like, it doesn't make sense. Like, expand on your question. Good question. Yeah, it's a good question from from you and uh, Riyadh. Guys, we're not here just to look at you. Know, we're not here just so you guys can look at our faces. You know, just ask questions, man. <laughs> like it's not hard. <laughs> and if we don't know the answer, we'll tell you we don't know. We'll tell you any. We'll talk. You can talk about anything. Talk about books, productivity. Um, Matt, do 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 your IG fans know your nickname? <laughs> I will end live if you tell me. Huh? <laughs> I will end live. <laughs> I'm watching you. As in, like, let's say oh, you know. Question and they say it, but they don't respond. So you send another question. No, what well, you wouldn't send another question. Um, if they leave you on red, then just follow up the next day. Um, and if they don't leave you on red, then they'll most likely respond some other time, right? Like, I mean, I don't, I don't see anything else to add on to that. If you want that, you can add on to it. Um, yeah, just kind of follow up. They sometimes you can even argue just don't follow up and just move. That's what I used to do. But you know, if you follow up, just be just be casual about it. Maybe give it a day or two and just be like, "Hey, don't know if if my message got through. Just sign." Yeah, like just don't overcomplicate it in the DMs, man. Yeah, the principles. Let's bring it back down to earth. The principles stay the same. Get okay, your intro. You know, that's the beginning. Which other, you just try and find a way to slide in. Cool. Now you're trying to build rapport and get to know each other. Cool. And then now you're trying to find leverage. And then actually the whole time you're trying to build rapport. It's just one big, uh, one big um, dialogue. We're trying to build rapport. Then you try to find leverage. Try to find bits and pieces of information that they might need that you have. So for example, business coach, you can help them grow their business. Okay, cool. Try and find a way to build that level. And then the last thing is, you know, if it looks like you help them out, be straightforward. Super simple. Let me jump back on in a bit. time is it okay six minutes six minutes until i have to open a call all right any questions personal branding 
lead gen. I don't care if you're a coach or a consultant. If you have a business, shoot some shoot some answers or not answers. Shoot some questions. I'll tell you what I'm working on right now. Um, I've got a list of non-negotiables. And my goal for these next it's a 21 days. I'm, I don't know if you heard of um, Iman Gadzi and he has monk mode. And that's like, it's a, it's a protocol. You have three non-negotiables plus one to three more. And you're basically, your goal is to do all those non-negotiables every single day for a set amount of days. So 21 days, three months to maximum. And I've got my own set because I fell into a slump quite a, yeah, I fell into a slump a couple of weeks ago. So my way, and this is like a bulletproof way of getting back on, is just doing monk mode. So I've got about six non-negotiables that I have to do every day, arguably not on Sunday. But apart from that, I have to turn up, do these things every day. If not, I have to start again or the day wasn't a success. And not all of it's business stuff too. Some of it's actually personal stuff or health related. Um, because it's good to be holistic. I might drop some tips on growing on Instagram as well, because why not? Yeah, I might. I might. Thanks for the free content. Thanks for the free content. Riyadh to, to come back. If he's back, I don't know if he's back. No, he's not back. He has to come back soon because I have a call in, in two minutes. All right, any last, uh, any questions about personal branding, lead generation, marketing, even sales, offer building? One minute, one minute, one minute. I've got to ask if you have any questions about marketing, personal branding, lead generation. What's up, Stefan? What is it, Stefan? Or uh, I can't even ask you that through chat. Unfortunately, I only have one minute. Okay, cool. Any tips on landing more booked calls? How many are you booking a day? Not a day, I mean a week. Let's look at a week. How many are you booking a week right now?
because if it's zero, okay. So getting from zero to your first couple book calls, I'd say it's, I'm taking a while to think because I'm trying to boil it down to a couple things. Okay, LinkedIn, awesome, that really helps. With LinkedIn, I don't know much about LinkedIn, honestly. I have buddies who use LinkedIn and they're really good at it. But what, okay, what it is, traffic source, yeah, traffic source, pick one, so LinkedIn, how are you gonna get those leads and make opportunities? Okay, content, maybe a, and different types of content. So for example, maybe a value post, a post where you just give pure value. Um, maybe a question, that, that works a lot. That's quite an 80, 20 way of generating conversations. Cause you can throw a question out there and then 10 people all at once will just give you an answer and then that's your way in to have a conversation with them. So first things first to keep it simple, and I do have to hop off like right now. Traffic source, a way to, you know, start have, um, Jesus Christ, my English, what is going on today? Oh, create opportunities. That's the right reaction. So create opportunities, whether through your content or a story or a CTA, and then, and then start the conversation, find, find your way in. Many different ways of doing that. So it could be as simple as, you know, hey, just want to say thanks for liking my post or commenting on my post. Um, you left your English on the plane. <laughs> Very funny. Uh, probably did. Opportunities, slide your way in through the DM. Start a conversation, build rapport. Keep it casual, keep it light as if you're just talking to a friend. And um, find leverage points, find, uh, you know, pain points or like where they want to get to. If you can genuinely help help them out with that, offer it to pitch, offer it to book a call. And then just do that at scale. Like if you're not starting 20 conversations a day minimum, then there's no reason why you should be complaining. So anyways, guys, I have to go. Uh, good live. Never done this before and uh, look forward to doing more. So see you around and um, hope that was helpful.